What is up, all my fellow Turbos? This is Steve Turbo of the Hyper Arcade Turbo Bros. And man, what a year 2015 was, wasn't it? In regards to video game announcements, guys, this was probably one of the biggest I've seen so far. Now, there were many amazing moments that happened this year, but I have my own top five of what I think were the most hype announcements of 2015. Now remember guys, these are my personal moments that I was most hyped for. There may be some things left out that are obvious, that should be there, but these are what got my attention and what kept me browsing the internet for more information well after the announcement was already done. So if your most hyped moment didn't make the list, don't worry. That's what the comment section below is for, so you can let me know how much of a fool I am for not selecting that. I'm, I'm kidding guys. But. With that said, guys, let's not waste any time. Let's get into my top five hype announcements of 2015 for video games. Let's go. Number five. The reveal of Pokemon Go. If you needed a way to sell augmented reality to the masses, then Pokemon Go is the way to do it. Telling trainers that they can finally live their dream and go out into the big wide world and catch Pokemon. They have announced recently that there will be different Pokemon per region and different Pokemon per landscape. So if you're in a foresty area, expect to find Pokemon that typically inhabit forests. If you're near the water, expect to find water Pokemon. This game is going to be absolutely huge and apparently it has a huge investment behind it with almost $30 million to bring this amazing game to full realization. I know myself and many others were just absolutely floored when we heard that we were finally going to be able to go on a real-life Pokemon journey throughout our normal day. It was a great way to start selling augmented reality to the masses, and a great way to just make all Pokemon fans in the world smile all at once. I can't wait to see this finally brought to realization, and I know many others can't either. So. We'll be getting it in 2016, everybody, and let's see if the real deal product looks anything like this amazing commercial. Number 4. The entirety of the Super Smash Bros. DLC roster. You want to talk about making a lot of dreams come true while subsequently shattering them all at the same time? Then nobody has done it better than Super Smash Bros. and Masahiro Sakurai. Revealing to us Mewtwo, Roy, Lucas, Bayonetta, Cloud, and Corrin from the Fire Emblem series, we got a whole slew of brand new characters coming to Super Smash Bros. Some, in the case of Cloud, Bayonetta, and Ryu, that we thought we would never ever see in the Super Smash Bros. universe. Unfortunately, with these announcements, there left a lot of people excited, but also a lot of people very disappointed. Could we potentially see some more DLC in the future? That remains to be seen. But you know what? I think everyone needs to remain optimistic and say, hey, Never say never. Anything can happen. I mean, hey, we got Cloud and Bayonetta in Smash after all. That should be a sign. But all in all, Masahiro definitely delivered an amazing DLC roster with tons and tons of memorable castings that a lot of fans will grow to appreciate in time. Even if one of them is another Fire Emblem character. Actually, even though two of them are Fire Emblem characters. Hey man, I love Fire Emblem characters. I don't care what anyone says. Number three, the return of some classic characters to Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V was seen as a golden opportunity to introduce some characters back to the franchise that hadn't seen it in a long time. Some of these characters included fan favorites such as Charlie Nash, Rainbow Mika, Karen Kanzuki, Yurian, and Alex. Yes, all of these fighters are going to finally make their long-rated return in Street Fighter V. Alex and Yurian will be DLC that will be released throughout 2016, and Karen, Armika, and Charlie are all included in the main roster. You may have noticed that I forgot to mention Birdie. I'm still a little indifferent on Birdie myself, but I realize that a lot of people do probably like him and his inclusion. But, I have to say, it was absolutely wonderful to see that Capcom is listening to the Street Fighter fans and brought back these fan-favorite characters that we've been clamoring for for so, so long. Myself, personally, it's no secret to anybody that I'm a huge Alex fan, and I'm super duper happy to see him come back. 
All in all, Street Fighter V's roster, while it may be small, is turning up to be really, really good and is going to carry us to a glorious new era of Street Fighter, and I can't wait. Long live Street Fighter, long live Capcom, now let's see a new goddamn Mega Man! Number 2! The announcement of Shinmu 3. You want to talk about an announcement that no one thought was ever going to happen, Shinmu 3 was just that. Many Shinmu fans had been waiting for many, 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 many years to finally hear any kind of word in regards to a continuation of their favorite franchise. And for many, many years, the creator had been silent. But silent he was no more. Finally, Yu Suzuki announced that Shinmu 3 was happening. However, that it was happening in the form of a Kickstarter. That Kickstarter got funded in record-breaking time with a record-breaking amount. Many people were quick to support Shenmue 3 because they finally wanted to see the game come to its glorious end. The final chapter of Shenmue 3 is happening and it is coming to PS4 and PS and PC sometime in the future. When remains to be seen, but all we know is that the passion and dedication of the fans have made this dream finally come true, and fans will finally get the closure that they've been asking for. Number 1 This should come as no surprise to anybody. Final Fantasy VII The Remake Now, just like Shenmue, this was something that had been rumored for many many years but fans never thought they would see and finally, at the E3 PlayStation Sony conference, it was confirmed and the internet collectively shit its pants when this announcement happened. I was absolutely floored when this announcement happened. I was jaw, my jaw just dropped. I couldn't believe that something that for so many years we thought and were told was never going to happen was finally happening. That one of the most treasured games of all time was going to be remade in modern graphics. That all those little scenes that we had for many years pictured in our head what they could possibly look like in full HD, we are now finally getting that. We are getting brand new HD visuals, full-on voice acting, and perhaps some new content to the game as well. Though the announcement did bring a lot of joy, the following announcements did make people a little nervous with the fact that it is going to be released in episodes, but I have full faith that Square Enix is going to treat this fair. So I think we can all stand together and just be absolutely just enamored with the fact that Final Fantasy VII The Remake is happening, and we will get to finally see it. This was, without a doubt, the most hype announcement of the entire year. Nothing beat this in terms of hype when it came to video games this year. And I gotta say, guys, I absolutely cannot wait to get my hands on it. I, I want to get my hands on a demo, just something to where I can actually try it out. Well, guys, that was the list of my... Most hype moments of 2015 in video gaming. It was a great year, guys. We laughed, we cried, we raged, and we lived the hype. So you know what? I'm hoping 2016 is more of the same, because you know what? The world could always do with more hype. And like I said before in the video, if you didn't see your most hype moment in my list, hey man, feel free to list it in the comments section below. Please do. I want to know what got you guys hype. This was just me, but I want to know about you. What do you think? Or is my list and your list almost the same thing? Hey man, let me know. Let me know. Most of all, go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it. Go ahead and share it to the people you think would be interested. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, because that's one hell of a way to ring in the new year is with more subscribers. So guys, this is going to bring 2015 to a close. Thank you all for watching this year. Thank you all for sharing in the hype with us. Thank you all for just being you. So, let's start the new year off right, shall we? Alright guys, stay golden. We all love you here from the Hyper Arcade Turbo Bros. And, for the last time of 2015, Turbo out.